here. Hello. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm not ready yet. Hello, everybody. Oh wait, my mic is off. Oh come on. Yeah, good thing I'm gonna edit this later. Hello, everybody. It's me, Kyle. Dot one eighty, and today I am making a video to show you guys. Uh, a map that me and my friend made and another friend of mine helped out with the map as well. We are going to be taking a tour of one of the newest maps that me and my friend have been working on. It is called The Deepest Forest. And as you can see, The Deepest Forest is kind of, it's kind of like Doom Buddies, but buggies. But it's really, really similar. And we're basically saying that this is going to be a newer version of Dune Buggies. But we're not making it completely do like Doom Buggies. It's going to have newer features, features newer things added. Uh, there's going to be more of a lore to this game. And there's going to be like special items you can get. Like uh, power weapons and many things like that. Um, but today we are going to be taking a tour of the map. Right now I have a car behind me. You'll figure out what that is later on. But yeah, let's go. I'm ready. Alrighty guys, so we are going to be going in one of the cars, and as you can see, we are at the first base, which are what is originally built. This is Amber Base. Now, this is one of the four bases that are in the map, Amber. Uh, there are weapons, there are tools, there are items, you, there are many weapons that you can use to defend yourself. Um, there are buggies. There are two buggies at every station, I'm pretty sure. Yes, there are two buggies at every station. Um, now, this map is incredibly large. This map is bigger than Doom Buggies, or was originally supposed to be bigger than Doom Buggies. But it, it's not supposed to completely be the same as Doom Buggies. There are mines here. There is another car in there. And then there are two towers on top of the first base. And that's basically, I think there's, no, wait, there's a radio and mic on the top. If you guys go to the top of Amber Base, there should be a mic there. Um, there should be a little something up there that you can talk to the other players about. So if I back out, if I back out clearly, yep, I can back out. All right. So we begin at the detour of at Amber Base. Now the map is not fully completed yet. We are still trying to fix some bugs trying to fix some things, trying to make the map able to be more playable than it was supposed to be at the beginning where there was a lot of glitches, there was many things going on, the daylight cycle is still in effect. Yes, there is a daylight cycle here. We are going to be fixing it soon as possible. Coda will work on it later. He is the leader and creator of this map. If you guys want to check this map out, it is public right now. You guys can actually see it for yourself. You can join it. But more future updates will be on its way. Um, this is the second part of the tour. Uh, this is the highway that we added. The highway just got an update, actually. We just added some lights to it. We made it a little bit more decorative. Well, I actually just did that today. And it actually looks pretty cool. It leads to Amber. But be careful, because it can kind of be like a barrier for Amber. So... We are on the next place, which is the mountains, uh, the mountain hill zone. This is next to nature base. Nature base is the next base that we're going to be looking at uh, after this tour. This is just the mountain tops. You can get up there. You can PvP. You can actually hide. You can actually use the buggies to uh, do a trick shot. Uh, let me see if I can do one. Uh, let's see if I can get up. Okay, yes, you can get up this. And then you can just go, you can just drive off the edge like, Wee! Oh my gosh. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. That's really fun though. You can actually like wall run and go on there with friends, PvP. You can do a lot of things on there. It's really cool. Um, the next tour is Nature Base, which is the exact same as uh, Amber Base, but it's not exactly like the exact exact same. It has little different features that make it unique. As you can see, it has a path. There's a path that you can go by, you can go around. Uh, I will show you guys about the towers in just a couple minutes, but this is Nature Base. Um, it has blocks all over the place. There is still watchtowers. There are 
buggies, and there's not as many weapons here that there was supposed to be though. There, there was weapons. Um, but I think if you go on the top... Oh, yes, there is a barricade here. There is a little barricade that you guys can go in for hiding. I added that actually earlier. And then... There, I don't think there's a mic up here, but if you guys look around, there is an upper top base of uh, nature. So if you guys keep doing that, you guys can hide, team up, make friends, make new people friends. Because uh, we really want this map to get out there. We're trying really hard to improve everything we can uh, so we can get out there and just have a good time, you know? This map is pretty fun. Like, we had an event on it a couple weeks ago. A lot of people came, uh, PvP'd, is, has a lot of more weapons, more buggies, more things. This is actually one of the watchtowers that are in this place. The watchtowers have buggies, but some of them don't. Some watchtowers have more buggies, some watchtowers have less buggies, but this is watchtower, I think it's watchtower 3. Oh, watchtower 4, well, watchtower 3 is over there. So this is Watchtower 4, um, this is actually the radio system. So how you use the radio system is you basically gotta click on it, but it's not like a microphone where it will literally talk to everybody else. You have to actually click on it and it will connect it, and it will say you are now connected to the radio. It will basically explain to you guys that you can actually connect with people from each Watchtower zone. You can actually talk to them secretly. So, like, you guys can, like, make, make new plans, make, figure out where to meet, uh, I, there's a lot of places here, um, and it's just a way that you guys can secretly team up against players all over the map. There are mines here, there's a sniper and a pistol, um, let me see, oh, I think I must be thinking of Watchtower 3 or something, but that, that is what's at Firewatch Tower 4, so, if we keep going... Uh, we will be at night base in just a second, um, but there is a fire watchtower over there as well, and this is actually the next base on the list. So this is actually night base. This base is, like I said earlier, very similar. It still has many defaults, but it actually is different colored, and I'm glitching into the car. Oh gosh, I'm on the floor. Um... But Night Base is probably one of the bases you want to be at because it has more weapons, more of a variety. It has two shotguns. Uh, I think there's a car over here. Uh, yes, the car is still here. Um, it has shotguns. I think, I think the other car is over there. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure there is still two cars at this at this place. At this base, there are two cars. Um, if you climb the ladder, which should work, um, this is the top floor. There are tons of boxes up there. I think there's a mic up there. I don't know. We did a lot of updates. My friend Coda, um, he just did a little update, so I don't know if he got rid of the mics or if he did something with them, but that is basically night base. There isn't really anything else to night base just yet, um, but we will be there soon enough. This is the next watchtower. I think it's Fire Watch Tower 5. I think 5's over here. 5 is actually the farthest compared to the other watchtowers. 5 is definitely the farthest. Um, I think 5. Oh. Oh, wait. Yeah, 5 does have a rope. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Why doesn't 5 have a rope? Every watchtower should have a rope, by the way. But Fire Watchtower 5 is the tallest. So I'm just letting you guys know now that it's probably the farthest and tallest base you'll find. There is a um, uh, laser burst gun in here. There is, let's see, there is another radio. There is another laser burst gun. And there is a sniper. Um, I thought there was going to be more weapons here because my friend... Oh, yeah, this is actually one of the new things that my friend added. He uh, added a shield recently. Uh, I, th I think it works, actually. I'm not too sure. I think it's... I think we... S yes, the shield does work. Uh, it's a new shield that we just made. Uh, I think it I think it actually works pretty well. I haven't used it yet. 
but I think it's pretty good. Um, you guys can definitely use it like a normal shield in Rec Room. Uh, it's definitely going to be useful and will definitely help you guys defend yourselves along the way. So, yet again, this is Firewatch Tower 5. It is far on the map, but it really is cool, though. Like, Firewatch Tower 5 is one of those watchtowers that you, if, you, if, you, if you need to plan something or, like, come up with a new plan to do something, Firewatch Tower 5 is the place to be. Oh, yes. This is the blue base. This is Lapis. This is the car that I actually got from Lapis. Um, Lapis is definitely a base you want to be at because Lapis um, is the most OP, overpowered right now. Lapis has the most weapons. It, it, it has laser la ARs. It has laser burst guns. I think it has... Yes, it has shotguns as well, but I don't think it's the same. Uh, there is a mine here, there is another laser burst gun over here, and then there are two grenades and a mine. So you can actually make, like, an explosive nuke if you were to come over here. This is the car that I have right now. I don't really have the other car because it's, it's still there. Lapis, um, it, it didn't, it used to have a mic, but I don't know what's going on there with Lapis. Uh... But I think, I think that Lapis should be pretty good. I, I think it should. Lapis is the place to be. But, uh, um, let's see. Where to next? I think next we're going to be doing or going to one of the newest places on the map that you have ever seen. Which is the saloon. Now, the saloon I actually was just working on. It's not done yet. I'm working on finishing it some at some point but i just was working on this today the saloon is very new um you can see a lot of things here there will be tables there will be windows there will be eventually be a staircase here i don't have one yet so i'm gonna have to oh i just picked up these weapons on my back so i'm gonna have to fly up here because i literally there i didn't add stairs yet um, as you can see, this is, this, this will be a railing at some point. There will be a railing here, so you can actually have more detail. And yes, guys, this is one of the biggest things in the entire map. These are meeples. Meeples are all over the map, scattered everywhere. This is actually the one that I just fixed up today. Um, there was a lake here, but we removed it because of, uh, bug reasons. Um, also, this is the meeple, the first meeple. There are many meeples, like I said, scattered around the map. Um, they're, I feel like they're more in the center of the map. I feel like they're not as close on the outside. But I think that they're going to be close, though. They, You will be able to find them. Um, you will be able to search them. And you will, you will be able to see where they're located um we are moving on to the next firewatch tower this is actually uh the next one that we have been able to show you guys this is the firewatch tower 2 i think firewatch tower 2 is the most op i think it is i'm not entirely sure but i i know that it has two snipers it has mines and i think it has oh no fire what is this Oh, that's the chest. Uh, so, Fire Watchtower 2 was the original watchtower in this place. So, what this means is um, that it can be the most OP, but the most OP is still Fire Watchtower 3. It has, um, let's see, it has flashlights, it has a bucket, it has, I, oh, these are channels, they're walkie talkies. See, I'm still new at learning. Um, my friend added new things, so I, those are apparently walkie-talkies that you can use. Um, there are more meeples here. Uh, these have been here for a little bit. Uh, they're PvP meeples. And a note. This is a note. And there are notes scattered all around the entire map. There are notes. And if you, they are basically like riddles on games. This is what we meant by the lore. The lore allows you, this thing allows you to get a weapon. And this box is here, and I think it can do something, but I know that th that you can put this 
paper in the fire watchtower one and it should give you a power weapon i don't exactly know how to do it i'm gonna have to figure that out with koda but he knows how to do it if you guys see him uh you can ask him how to do it but you can basically get a super over overpowered weapons in this place you can get two uh, there's one in a secret room somewhere in the map, and then there's another one. I don't think it's finished yet, but yes, there are two power weapons that you can get, and they are really destructive. I'm just letting you know right now. Um, but basically it says, today I decided to quit working at Tower 2. I left my prized weapons on the box. I lost the key to it, though. The gun in the box helped me put out a lot of fires. Tower 1 went dark. Seek them. Now, this is um, one of Coda's friends who did this, so they just put their initials at the bottom. But basically, I think you put the paper in there, and then a key gives you, and then you come back, and it unlocks the box. We can do it before the video's over. I think I will do it, because I've never done it before, and I want to see if it works. So we will definitely do that along the way. And there are tons of snipers here. This is probably the most tower you'll see with the most snipers. I'm just being honest with it now. So the next tower is Watch Tower 3. And it's over here. This is the one where I said it has the most OP stuff. And then after this, we are going to go into the center of the map, which is where we were supposed to go at the beginning of the video. <laughs> but I wasn't paying attention. And But it's cool. It's cool. We're, we're getting everywhere, so no big deal. Um... So if we go up here, I believe Fire Watchtower has a huge stuff. Yes, the mines are still here. The sniper is still here. Okay. And yes. Oh, half the weapons are gone. But that was expected. This place you can basically shield up over and over again. This place you can barely... You can basically camp out. Uh, same as Fire Watchtower 4, I believe. And then you can just talk to the radio. Every Fire Watchtower has one. There's a shield, there's a shotgun, and you can basically protect yourself very well in Firewatch Tower 4. And if we keep going, we are going into the center of the map, which is the last part of our journey. Yes, there are tons of trees in this, in this part of the map. There are tons. Um, this is one of my friend's Midnight's Shrine. He made it because he just he was bored and he just wanted to make something a part of the map but this is my friend midnight um he uh is a co-owner on the map as well he hasn't been on in a little bit but we're definitely working hard on it on the map and is this his little glowy tree he made he did a really good job like he did a really good job on it um but yes he is one of the co-owners on the map as long with us and also we are now going into the further uh, I think the campsite's here. Yes, the campsite is here. This is the spawning area of the map. Uh, spawn is actually up there, and you'll drop down in the beginning in the camp area, where there are a ton of weapons. Uh, there's tons of weapons that you can defeat your friends with. The camp area can get crazy at times. Like, I'm not being... Like, I'm not actually kidding. Like, this area around here can actually get very dangerous. People will automatically kill each other because of how OP the camp area is. And this is the forest biome. This is the only forest that we have in the map. And it is called the deepest forest. But this is basically where spawn is. I'm pretty sure Danny Silly should be over here somewhere. Yes, we're going to Danny's Silly store next, which is over here, I believe. I think it is. Yes. Danny Silly is not over here. Where is Danny Silly? I know I'm close, but yeah, you can get lost in this in this fog. That's why uh oh, Danny Silly's over here. What am I doing? Danny Silly is over here. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Technical difficulties. <laughs> um so this is the next part of the tour. This place is definitely where you want to be in in uh, in the entire map. This is Danny's Silly Store. Now, Danny's Silly Store also has a lore to it. Um, so basically, if you push this button, it will open it, open the door. Um, this is what one of the power weapons looks like, but you can't actually grab it. But this shield will actually give you plus 10, 
or a, a literally automatic shield. It will literally give you almost automatic, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it will give you full shield. Um, there's sh more shields in here. This is like a shield place. This place you want to be because it has... It's like you need um, thousands and thousands of shields. This is the place to get it. I'm not joking. This is like a base of protection, defense, and many more. This place can be more powerful than the fire watch towers. But just know that this is one of the places that you can actually um, get completely uh, stuck in. Sometimes you can get completely raided. Um, this is where the lore begins, actually. This is... This is Danny's silly store. This is where this is the main character is. This is Danny. Uh, there is more meeples here. Uh, if you see, we have more meeples in the area. Uh, this is where one of the lures are, one of the power weapons. I think if you grab that, it will put you, when you fly it in there. I think it will give you the power weapon. I'm not sure though. Um, and then we are coming to an end of our tour. Basically. Um, this is the bus stop. Now, the bus stop is next to Dilly, Danny Silly, but this is kind of like a bonus. This is like a bonus. If you're not at spawn and can't really get the stuff, you can do bus fast travel. Or bus ticket. Or, yes, it is bus ticket. You can use this to buy your way into it. So you can actually use this, and I believe if you buy it, Yes, there's going to be dollars in this place. And I believe if you buy the bus ticket, and then you use it, you can activate it to select a location where you want to go throughout the map. So basically, I can pick, for example, any of these locations, because now I have a dollar, I can actually use it to teleport to any of the bases, Firewatch Tower 321, and any... So let's say I want to go to night, I would just click on it and click OK, and we are at night base, as you can see, we are at night. And also, now I need to drive back, um, because I, I, just thought, I just thought it would be fun to drive back. I like driving back, I don't really like flying, because it's really kind of boring. Okay, so basically, um, night base is one of the bases that, I to that you can teleport to. Uh, there are all also you can teleport to basically any tower um, If when we go back to spawn, I'll show you guys how to do it um, But basically I think we might have a teleporting thing to the saloon too. I Think so I'm not a hundred percent sure yet But the saloon like I said is the newer newer thing that got added to the map So I'm not a hundred percent sure but I will meet you guys in just a second all right, we are back at spawn. Now this is where all the stuff is located. These are our tasks. I actually added the finish salon one, um, saloon. And this is basically where you can get all the benefits of the map if you want it. It's not a forcing thing, you don't have to get it. Um, but it's really your choice. This is the shop. Now the shop, is actually helps us out a lot um, because it helps us it helps the donations it, it really helps uh, you, us creators get help on this map so that we can make it bigger make new new places new things for this map so they can grow and people can come and have a good time so as I said before these are the keys that you can use to get to the different bases if you click on one you can you can buy it if you want it's really your choice but it's really useful to buy the pack because the packs are are way better than just buying the single one because it gives you more value if you buy the base packs you will have a higher chance of going to more bases than just clicking on one base, buying it, and then just can only teleport to that one. Um, the Fire Watch Tower 2 and 3, 4, and 5, I would also, if I were you guys, I would probably get all teleports too because that's also another good benefit for the map because then you can just teleport wherever you want in the, in the map menu, which is really big. Um, every day when you come to the map, and you click this button you can buy dollars the dollars will give you benefits for the bus tickets 
it will give you benefits to go wherever you want so then if you don't want to go by car you can be faster and get more weapons quickly and can teleport to the bases so it's basically like an even more improvement zone and then of course we have one of the biggest targets the deep at the sports fan shirt of course, fan shirt is basically like it's literally in the name. It's the deepest fan shirt. It's basically uh, the shirt that helps support our our map. I actually was the creator of it. Um, it has amber base on the back. It did have the pond on it. The pond still is gonna stay there and some trees because it's not a bad thing to have. Um, this is also I think this is the button. Yes, you can click it every day for one dollar. And if you keep clicking it, I think you can get more benefits for dollars. So I should have two dollars now. Um, but yes, and this is the contributor R plus. I think this allows you to teleport to a player. Oh, this is contributors. This is contributors who actually helped out with the map. They can teleport to players. Um, uh, these are just roll updates. Oh, you can also get free gifts. Uh, there will be free gifts here for everyone. There's 24 root beers. We will add more um, free gifts, and you therefore you guys can have them, so it's also a benefit for you guys. Um, this is also, I think this is the club. Yes, this is the club. Why have I not joined it yet? I have no idea, but this is the Deepest Forest fan club, and you can join it. It's on Rec Room. If you literally come to the Deepest Forest and... Click this button, you can literally go to club, and you can hit join. I would recommend joining, because this map is pretty fun, and everyone loves it, and we had an event on it. Like I said, it went way better than we thought, and it's just a good good place to be. Uh, and in order for the instant travel to work, I forgot to mention, in order for the instant travel to work, you have to click it. Oh, uh, that's not what I was looking for. No, that's not what I was looking for. Oh, this is this is it. This is the fast travel. In order to do this, you have to click it, and then I think if you don't have it, it will ask you to purchase it, but it's a pretty good deal, guys. Like, I'm not joking. This is actually a really good deal. The base packs are the best deals right now, um, but there will be more in the future. I swear it. And um, we are going to go, actually, I told you guys I was going to do this at the end of the video. I don't know where the car is, so I will just show you guys really quickly. So then you guys can get a brief idea. I think it's at Firewatch Tower. Yes, this is Firewatch Tower 3. So Watchtower 2 is over here. Mm, yes, Firewatch Tower 1 is over here. So like I said, if you actually take the piece of paper and you actually go down, um, you should be able to get a key. Uh, let me just, I'm just going to glitch out of here real quick. Oh, uh, yes, I wall glitch, I know. Um, bad. Um, but wall glitching doesn't actually do anything bad. Uh, where's Firewatch Tower 1? I think it's over here. Um, I'm trying to find it. Yes, it is over here. Here's Firewatch Tower 1. So if you go to Firewatch Tower, it will say it's unbearably hot. And unfortunately, you will take damage if you step into this zone. Now, after that, if you put it into the fire, which I think it should work this is the fire it will let you it will let you grab the key oh wait no you don't need the paper the paper is for something else you can just get the key and then go all the way back to firewatch tower 2 and then after that you can literally just um teleport it and bring it back into the tower so that's actually an option too so you actually don't need the paper and then i believe if it goes in like this should give you the weapon should give you the weapon what is going on uh i don't okay there's a shotgun should give you the weapon hold up should give you the weapon wait what's going on here um huh i guess it's not giving you the weapon for some reason but that's how you do it um okay this is really strange should be giving me the weapon now Interesting. I'm gonna have to talk to him about that later, but that's how that works. Um, and I think that's everything, guys. I think we've covered everything in the map so far along its journey. That.
I want to say thank you guys for enjoying and please come to the map. It's a really fun place to hang out and we may have another event on it and I just really appreciate you guys for watching the video. Um, feel free to like and subscribe and comment down below what we should add to the map. Any suggestions if you want and leave them, you can. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for 800 subs. It means a lot to me. Um, and also, this map is not done. We still have so many things to add along the way. And I hope everyone here has an amazing day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!